I've been watching a lot of Minnesota Wild hockey games, and when I say a lot, I mean like three games, but I go to ESPN Plus and I just search for a close game. Uh, it's usually the Wild. They're in a lot of close games, or maybe I'm just gravitated towards them. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Check this out. So Boldy, he's a rookie. He's like 21 years old. This is his first goal in that game. Bam. Nice little move. They're on a power play, I think. Throws on the break. Stall goes past him. Spins around. Boom. First goal. Thumbs up, heads down. My favorite childhood game. Now this is his second goal. They're on a power play here. He goes to the middle of the ice, just plants his stick, tips it right in. Another really nice goal. He just goes, hey, if you put the puck here, I'll probably direct it right there. Got to be strong on the stick. Got to be ready to make that play. So Boldy, oh, look at that. This is the whole theme of the whole damn thing. Points at his teammate right away. Says, hey, man, that was all you. You're the best and I love you. That's Minnesota Wild Hockey, nothing but a family, because we're a family. Anyway, another power play later on. He's going for the hat trick. Here he is, number 12, passing it around, getting in position, feeling the flow. So uh, Red Wings just kind of containing, maintaining the Wild on the perimeter, on the perimeter, searching for it, searching for it. Another, that's kind of a... It's kind of like a one-timer, but it's more like a tip, but he did kind of shoot it. I don't know, watch, but it goes in. So the puck is on its edge, and he just, it's a redirect, and he redirects it with like a half shot, and and somehow it goes in. Look at this puck. It's just, is it going to roll? No, it's going to flip and flop. Then it hits the post square, ricochets off the post, hits the goalie's leg, Starts going in, starts going in. Number 14 wants to poke it in, slam it home. Pulls his stick back, says, no, I'll make sure Boldy gets that one. He needs the hat trick. It's his first ever. And then Zuccarelli and, I don't know the guy's name, Erickson, look at them. They turn around to go make sure they get the puck before even celebrating. Zuccarelli didn't even say, like, good job. Erickson did. And they make sure they get the puck because they know that that's his first career hat trick. So we'll watch it again. Because was he going to score? No. I don't think it was possible that he would have scored because it was going in anyway. Maybe the scorekeeper gets it wrong and no one corrects it. But I think that's Boldy's goal no matter what. But he does pull his stick back emphatically to make sure, nah, I'm not going to take that from him. Then he points to him. He says, that's all you. Good job. And then he goes and gets the puck. But Zuccarello is like, I got it, dude. I know too. I'm also a good teammate. We're both Minnesota Wild. And we're good teammates. So then he gets high fives galore. And then all the fine people in Minnesota, they get to lose their hat for the night. I always wonder, when you go to a hockey game, do you wear a bad hat on purpose? You just buy one from the gift shop, then throw it to them? Because that's a great racket. If NHL teams are like, there's going to be a hat trick tonight, so buy a hat, and then they throw it on the ice, and then they just resell it. NHL hockey teams should have like a lost and found of hats, and you just grab one when you enter, and then if there's a hat trick, you throw it. Lice might break out, but I think that's a good idea. And then the camera crew decides that they really want to focus on this one hat, and I don't know why. If you're going to do that, camera crew, do one with, like, some branding on there for the team or something. I don't know what that hat is. There you go. Should have focused on that one the entire time. They get to pick up the hats. That's probably a fun little break from the monotony of their job, although the ice crew, the people that come out during TV timeouts, they're like, gang, and uh, garbage pail full of hats. They asked them about it. After the game, they asked him, uh, did you do this on purpose? you got to clarify something for us. It looked like on that hat trick goal that you could have chipped it in and you pulled your stick back. Were you thinking about letting your friend get the hat trick? Yeah, I mean, when you have a puck sitting in the crease like that, uh, I think uh, your first uh, uh, like thought is to, to, to get a whack on it. But when I saw this going in, I, I tried to get my stick away from it. So, yeah. so there you have it. Minnesota Wild, a family, the only team in the NHL that support each other. Could have taken the goal for himself. Didn't. Let Boldy have it. His first hat trick. Hats off to him. Kind of a pathetic effort by me there. Thanks, DraftKings, for sponsoring this breakdown.